Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, we're talking about how to clean your data set in Julia. So these are some of the common issues that you may have when dealing with data. So there you may have issues with reading the file. The file is not in the right format, or it's not properly encoded, or inconsistent column names, which is very common, and then missing data, which is almost one of the commonest things. Then different data types in which you have you have you have a column with different data set, right? With different data types, then you're supposed to change it from one format to the other to be able to work it work with it, especially to numerical data. Then duplicated rows as, as well as outlines. So let's see each and every of the issue and see how to solve it. The first one is using data frames, right? That's our, going to be our EDA package. Then let's check how this issue with, with loading or reading the file. So read tables. We table then we have this our data set here which is this one right raw data modified so it's better you make a copy of it right so raw data modified dot csv so when we try to read this issue it's going to give us an error so the reason it will give us an error is that either it is not properly encoded or it is in a different format See that that's given us this error, uh, argument error, columns, and then column in this must be the same length. So that it is possible that this is the issue or there is an encod encoding error. So let's try and see the first solution by trying to encode it, right? So the first solution is to encode it with a different error. So so df is going to read table, then row, uh, it's going to be raw. So raw data modified or raw modified data. <laughs> okay. Raw data modified, right? Raw data or modify or modified, right? So you're trying to you are going to code encode this with a different encoding. So the encoding is going to be encoding. Then you're going to use Latin one. So the first, one of the there are several forms of encoding. So if it's not working, you can just take it to Latin one. So that Latin one is not supported currently. Said argument encoding only supports UTF-8. So the next issue is to use UTF-8. So let's try that one and see whether it's going to work. Let me add another column. So with this same thing, let me copy this and paste. So I'll be using UTF-8 to check and see whether it will be able to work, right? So UTF-8. UTF-8 is on a standard and it's still not working. So how are you going to solve this issue? So one of the ways of solving is this issue is to use your test editor. So let me go to my file here. This raw or modified data, right? And I'll try and open it with my test editor. And let's see what it's going to be. So, wow, see so that it's giving us a file load error, right? Said so this data is not UTF-8 encoded. So that is the reason why it is not working. So now the best thing is to use your, any test editor that you have. So I have Sublime. So I'll go to my file like this, right? And then I'll copy it. And then I'll paste it, drag it here. I'll drag it here, right? So I'll drag this file here. So from here, I can just go to file, then save with encoding and encode it with UTF-8. So after encoding it with UTF-8, now it is saved. So if I come back to my file, right? And then let's go back to where we were. Close this. Close this. Now, this is our issue. So, if I read it again after editing it, realize that it's going to perfectly read raw. So, that is the second solution. So, you, you can use your test editor to edit it. And when I read it, voila. Before us, without any issue. So, that is the second solution that I can apply if the straightaway UTF encoding does not work. Even I can take off this, right? If I take off this and I read it, it's still going to work perfectly. Okay, because I've encoded it with UTF-8. Okay, so now let's move on to back to our situation. Now let's see the next issue that you may have. The other issue that you may have with your data set is inconsistent column names. So one of the ways of solving it is, is to change it to a particular case, right? Or to rename them. So let's see what I was, what I was talking about. So you have head and df right let's make it four and i'm going to see what i was talking about here so that the names here are not inconsistent yeah they, they are not consistent we have director capital uh, actor capital 
this ones are all small but it's supposed to be consistent so that it becomes easier when you're manipulating it so how do you do that first of all we can check for the column names as we saw here like this or we can just use the names in df to check for the columns so it's going to print all the columns for us now so after printing our columns see that it's still not consistent right so we can we are supposed to convert these ones into a particular singular case that we can use it to work so how do you do that you can just go with upper case that's if i want to change it to upper case then in the upper case i'll pass it as a string then inside the string i'll pass my columns here so if i do it like that it's going to change all my this thing into upper case right perfect but now it is no more it's no more like this but it's now all of them are in upper case right that is one of the ways of doing it so now how do i change my actual data frame or the column names of my data frame so to do that there are several options if you try to pass this inside your column names like this right something like this then you are going to pass this one into it it may not work I don't know whether somebody has found a way of it it's going to give you an error so the best way is to I don't know you see I don't think it's going to work it says it's not going to work right no method work, working on it so the best way is to pass it in inside this format right notice that these names bank will actually modify the original file so that is what you use to change it so i'll copy this one from here to here because this is in symbol copy this one from here to here right and then i'm going to pass it here so it's going to be the sentence is that the data name the, the names right this function we're going to change it in the data frame which we have and then the array of names so it's going to be like this just perfect so now if i go back with this it's going to actually change it perfectly so that now it has changed all of them to upper cases for us which is nice so now it has actually changed the data set so if i go back and i check again from here the original name for them again with this format of names yet yeah, all of them are going to be in capital so it, so that names bank the names bank this names bank will actually change the original file which is very nice now all of them are in capital so another way is that you can actually rename the name columns so for example let's say we have this right we have duration i want to change duration from duration to maybe time right instead of duration so how do you do that there are two functions you have the rename and the rename bank which will change the original file so let's try that one so i'm going to make it like rename or let's make it rename bank and then I'm going to give the name of my column so the, the first thing that it takes is to first of all take your data frame right and then the column that you want to change so my column that i want to change was duration that is a column that i want to change and then the new one i want to bring it to is going to be let's say time so if i work with it so it has changed it from duration to time right so now as the time has changed again I can apply it for several of them so that's one of the ways of renaming the columns to make it consistent okay that is the first issue which which we have thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit and please stay tuned for the next aspect of how to solve those issues